and he immediately fell 15 to 20 feet on the ground. So just imagine that. I fell out of a tree stand once doing this exact thing. In Michigan, another hunter sabotaged um, a fellow hunter's uh, hunting stand. This is news. It's, it's nationwide news right now. I actually am pulled up on the DNR's website and read about it myself. And I want to get your guys' opinion on this. So I'm going to read it off the site. And I'm going to stop and give my thoughts throughout it. What I got going on, I'm getting some stuff tied up for ice fishing. Ice fishing is coming up here soon. Um, really soon. And uh, ice fishing season again. Second time uh, this season. Because we lost the ice. A Washtenaw County man is serving jail time in Marquette for intentionally sabotaging a hunter's tree stand. Intentionally sabotaging it. Thomas Steele III, 23 of Chelsea, is serving a 60-day sentence in Marquette County Jail after pleading guilty to misdemeanors of aggravated assault and hunter harassment. So it sounds like he pleaded guilty to it. An Upper Peninsula hunter arrived at his tree stand and found a note on his trail camera stating that he was set up in Steele's hunting spot. Then a student at Northern Michigan University left his phone number on the note asking the hunter to call him. He deleted all the pictures from said hunter's trail camera. According to the DNR in Michigan, you cannot claim executive rights on public hunting land. Any tree stand or deer blind left unoccupied on state land can be used by another individual. Same thing goes with duck hunting, guys. Uh, duck blinds out in Saginaw Bay. Um, if you built it, it's open to the public if you're not there. It's first come, first serve. Same thing with permanent uh, shacks on the ice. It's first come, first serve. Weeks later, the hunter returned to his tree stand and surveyed the area which looked untouched. He grabbed the memory card from his trail camera and climbed up the tree stand. When he stepped onto the platform of the tree stand, he immediately fell 15 to 20 feet on the ground. So just imagine that. You guys are hunters watching this. You've got your setup and you climb up, everything looks good. You go to stand up on your platform and you fall out. Now, could it have been prevented? Yes with the hunter safety system, which is what I use. I fell out of a tree stand once doing this exact thing, except the cables on the platform failed. And uh, I fell 15 feet, give or take, fell on my feet, busted my ankle up. But the hunter safety system would have prevented this regardless, the sabotage isn't right. The hunter landed on his feet, but injured his ankle and back. Looking up, he saw this tree stand was dangling from the tree about eight feet above the ground. Concerned that Steele was watching him on camera, the hunter quickly limped out of the woods. Once at home, he called 911 and checked his memory card, which had been wiped clean of the images for the second time. DNR officer Josh Bordeaux responded and took the hunter's statement and launched an investigation. Weeks went by, the hunter returned to the hunting location and used his new straps to set up his tree stand. Guy's got balls. He goes back out there. The next day, Steele, who was using a camera to spy on the hunter, sent a new text to the hunter saying, Are we going to work something out for this spot or what? Trying to negotiate. I got a picture of you yesterday going in there with climbing sticks. Just not going to respect I was there first or what? This is ridiculous. Bordeaux and conservation officer John Camps continued to closely monitor the hunter's tree stand. They acquired evidence of Steele cutting the victim's tree stand straps for a second time. Bordeaux obtained a search warrant for Steele's trail camera, which Steele had left on the state land. Conservation officers removed the camera from the state land. Steele, who thought the hunter stole his trail camera, left threatening voicemails on his phone and disparaged him on multiple local social media groups. Steele eventually called 911 to report his missing trail camera. Bordeaux took the call and arranged to meet Steele in person with camps and public safety officers from Northern Michigan University. During the meeting, Steele offered a full confession, admitting that he sabotaged the hunter's tree stand. He admitted to sabotaging this guy's tree stand and to inflict severe harm or death. I mean, luckily he landed the way he landed, and luckily he was able 
to survive to talk about it or even get out of the woods, man. You fall, you could bust your ankle and just roll. My buddy Burke did it. He rolled his ankle out in the woods and he had to limp out just over a mile. You fall out of a tree stand. He was charged in the case in 2021. Steele, who was already suspended from Northern Michigan University, withdrew prior to being expelled. As part of his sentence, Steele must also reimburse the victim's medical expenses for injuries sustained in a fall from his tree stand. He must also serve one year probation term. Steele's hunting privileges were revoked in, for an undetermined amount of time with Michigan, a member of the Interstate Wildlife Violers Compact, Steele's right to hunt will be revoked in all 50 states. Now this does go on deeper, but the man is sentenced to a 60-day jail sentence, a misdemeanor for aggravated assault and hunter harassment. Now, I want your opinion on this in the comments. Um, aggravated assault, is that strict enough for this guy? I mean, it was, it was, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing could potentially kill the guy. Maybe a little stricter sentencing uh, could send a message. I mean, guys, this stuff goes on all the time. I hunt a lot of state land. And I'm going to get back to deer hunting more this year in the state land. But this stuff goes on all the time. We're a group of outdoorsmen that the internet and social media is really starting to affect those things as, you know, as our group as a whole. Um, but we got to look out for each other, man. We got to. Um, never would I ever assume somebody would sabotage my equipment over a hunting spot. I get it, man. I, I've found some spots deep in the swamp that nobody else went to, and I shot some big bucks off it. But if I ran into another guy out there, or he ran into me, um, if something couldn't be negotiated as far as sharing the spot or finding a new spot, um, going as far as sabotaging a tree stand and potentially taking a man's life, that ain't, that ain't the way to be. Now, I want you guys to tell me how you feel about it in the comments of this video. I want your opinions. I'm giving you my opinion. I don't think they threw the book at him hard enough. 60 days in jail, a year probation, and hunting license hopefully revoked for a lifetime. But he's a 23-year-old man attempting to, attempting to kill somebody or, or cause great bodily harm. And that's my opinion. He knew what he was doing. He's not an idiot. And um, I'm going to share with you guys some pictures here and, um, you know, pictures from the DNR that they shared on their website, um, you know, proof evidence that they had from this event. Picture of a guy with a knife in his hand, a pocket knife in his hand, you know, obviously getting ready to cut the straps. And they have other pictures um, of the gentleman, Mr. Thomas Steele, the third 23 of Chelsea, Michigan. Uh this is this is a saddening story and um man i wish they had threw the book at him harder that's stuff you don't do man that guy does not deserve to be a hunter he doesn't deserve the right to ever hunt again and that's my strong opinion on it let me know what you guys think in the comments leave me a comment leave me a like also make sure you're subscribed to my channel live stream again this sunday night with old minnow boy from northern michigan we're going to be talking ice fishing we're going to be talking bass fishing we're going to be talking walleye fishing we're going to be talking ice camping we're going to be talking deer hunting so i hope you i hope to see you guys there thanks again for watching we'll see you on the next one